Hi guys, welcome back to the new video. In this video, we'll be going to see how to use a retrofit REST API with MVVM and the recycler view in Kotlin. Basically, retrofit is developed by Square and it's a type safe REST client for Android. And then we'll be using MVVM architecture. So MVVM architecture is a model view view model architecture that removes the tight coupling between each component. So most importantly in this architecture, the children don't have a direct reference to the parent. They only have the reference by observables. Okay, we'll have the five steps to create a retrofit. So the first is the, we'll add the retrofit dependencies. And then the next is, we'll create the model class. And then we'll create the retrofit instance. And then we'll set up the retrofit instance and then we'll consume the REST web service. And then finally, we'll set the retrofit response data into the recycler view. And then, okay, let's start. Then we have to add the retrofit dependency into our build.gradle file. Uh, we can find the latest retrofit version on the official retrofit website. Or else you can get, the, get from uh, my GitHub uh, link in the description. We'll add sync now. Okay, Gradle sync is in process. And the next step is we have to add the internet permission to our application. Uh, we'll first go to the Android manifest.xml file and we'll add the internet and the Wi Fi permissions. Okay, then next step is we'll create the packages. Uh, first, we have created the network. So inside this, will uh, create the retrofit instance and the retrofit services okay and then the next one is the model as we are using uh, mvvm architecture we'll create a model uh, package and then a view model and then we are using adapter to for recycler view so okay inside this network package we will create a object for the retrofit instance so we need to create the retrofit instance to send the network request. Uh, we need to use the retrofit builder class and specify the base URL for the service. Okay, at first we'll use a base URL. So I have used the GitHub API. And then we'll create a function, get retrofit instance. Okay, uh, as I said, to send the network request, uh, we need to use the retrofit builder class. Okay. And then we'll convert our JSON convert of factory. Next thing is we'll be setting up the retrofit instance. So retrofit provides a list of annotations to each HTTP methods. So those are the uh, at get, uh, post, put, delete, patch or head. So here we'll be using get method to get the data from the API. Uh, we'll create a retrofit service under the network package. Okay. Uh, here we'll be creating the interface for the API call definition. Uh, inside this we are using the get method. Okay. So we'll uh, write a function for getting all the data from the API. So we'll be using the call method and the list of uh, inside this we'll put the list. So uh, before that we have to create a uh, under the package model. So inside the response package, we will add the response from the API. So we will get the response. Okay, we will create a data class under the package response. We are going to get the title and the creator date. Okay, so we will add the variable uh, title and the date inside this data class. Okay, a uh, variable val title uh, it's a string, so we'll add the string and then created at is a date and it's also a string. Uh, we are getting uh, as it is, it's there inside the API. Okay, and then we will put that response inside this. Uh, interface class okay so this is the API which I am getting you can get the link uh, API link uh, from my git 
link in the description we'll add the api link over here okay and the next is a view model inside this view model uh, package we will be creating a tab view model so this acts as a link between the model and the view so it's responsible for transforming the data from the model uh, it provides data streams to the view uh, and it also uses uh, callbacks to update the view uh, it will ask for the data from the model okay we'll extend this to view model class and then inside this we will create a variable as a github data list uh, which is a live data so we are creating a live data as i said earlier uh, we are uh, getting uh, all the uh, data from the view model through observables for that we are using the live data over here Since live data respects android life cycle uh, this means it will not invoke its observer callback unless activity or fragment is received on start method a function or it get api data so inside this we are creating a variable to assign the retrofit service class inside the variable and then uh, for the response we will uh, put our list api response inside this callback so for that retrofit service dot get data nq and then inside this object we'll add a callback list so inside this list we will be adding our github response which we uh, did and then we will implement the members so one is for the success and the another one for the failure case so inside the success case we will uh, post the value for our live data variable which we initialized we'll put our response body inside that and then uh, next step is we are going to create a recycler view so we'll create a recycle view we'll put the id for a recycler view we are uh, inside this adapter class we will create a adapter okay uh, before that we will create the list uh, inside the layout uh, we will create a new layout file for the list view here uh, don't forget to add this uh, to wrap content We'll add a material text view. One is for a uh, title, and the another one is for uh, the date. okay and then next is we will create a adapter class for the recycler view to set all the items into the recycler view okay so inside this github adapter we will create the m list variable for the list uh, from the github response and we'll extend this to a recycler view adapter 
and then we need to create a view model class view holder class sorry uh, so we need to create an inner class view holder we'll implement the members okay we have on create view holder on bind view holder and the get item count so at first we'll put uh, on create view holder inside this we will add the view uh, from our parent so we'll add our ids so from the layout so this is our layout file which we created for the list items and then we'll return the view holder and the view so get item count so we will get the list size inside this and then inside this on uh, view view holder class we will create a variable title uh, which is the material text view which we created uh, in our layout file and we will add the IDs uh, for title and another one is for the date inside this uh, on bind view holder we will call the holder dot uh, this title dot text will be equal to the value we will assign from the response so we will add the title and the another one is for the date uh, which is the response we got for created at okay and then that's it perfectly then we'll move to our main activity okay uh, at first we will uh, initialize our view model we'll create the instance for the view model over here i have used the late init variable so late init is nothing but it's a promise that we will uh, declare the variable before using it and then we'll create a function for uh, github api so here we are uh, initializing the github view model inside this variable so before using the variable as i said for late in it so we are calling the github api from the view model over here and then we are observing the live data as i said earlier and then we are creating another function for adapter for the recycler view adapter class inside this we are uh, putting our response list okay we will uh, rv github list is the id from the recycler view xml we'll put the linear layout and then uh, we'll create a variable adapter and inside this we'll put the list and then uh, we will put this adapter inside the id recycler view okay we'll assign this adapter inside our observer finally we will call the api method function inside the on create method and then uh, that's it we will run let's see how our, our output comes okay gradle build is running so it's pretty much easy you know right in simple uh, five steps we can create retrofit api called rest okay successfully and then you can see our output we'll move to my mobile screen okay okay it's launched okay you can see the recycler view so my github api data so title and the date i have shown inside this recycler view 
so okay and then that's it for the day and then subscribe to my channel for the latest upcoming videos uh, notifications okay and then uh, we'll see you in the next video until then i wish you an awesome day bye bye keep watching the series